Tashi's Business Builders is proudly supported by our partners who are putting small business first. This week on Koshi's Business Builders, a creative co-working space embracing new ways of work, a wellness and yoga studio prescribing technology to its clients, and how technology and systems can help your business survive and thrive in a crisis. Welcome back to our special series of Koshi's Business Builders where we're putting small business first. Now, the past few weeks have seen businesses opening up and begin the rebuild from the impacts of the COVID-19 lockdown. We've seen in the past few episodes how businesses changed and adapted what they do. But what about how they do it? We've seen a shift in the way businesses operate most noticeably the adoption of digital platforms and tools, not just for selling, but communicating and working as a team. Some have done it well, some not so well. The main thing that sets them apart is usually their technology setup and the systems or processes put in place. Time now to meet Toby Skobron and Sade Mazeo from Creative Cubes Co in Melbourne to see how they did it. Creative Cubes is all about building a safe, happy, and pretty much addictive space that helps elevate entrepreneurs and large businesses all at the same time. We are a co-working community, so our services entail assisting anyone and everyone with the network around them, ensuring that they're able to grow and foster their business. Happiness team is the heartbeat to the Creative Cubes co-working community. They are from the first point of contact to every point of contact thereafter. They ensure your day is extremely seamless from onboarding to getting you into your private office space to assisting with any of the logistics that you might need and as well as making sure that if they're looking for additional services around them, they have a network there that they can tap into. In order for us, to be the best, we've got to be underpinned by the best. It's all about that one-to-one. -one. It's all about showing love. It's all about delivering happiness at all touch points within our organisation. That is just a fantastic business idea, isn't it? I just love the idea of a happiness bar. A great concept, but it's not a concept they could have kept relying on if their technology and systems weren't in place before the COVID-19 lockdowns. And Toby joins me now via Skype from Melbourne to talk us through exactly what he did. Toby, welcome to the program. Good to see you. Hi, she thanks for having me. Now, what happened to your business when COVID-19 hit? and we all went into lockdown. For the most part, we're not immune, right? Um, the difference between us and a typical business is we actually house thousands of businesses, um, all the way from a startup, all the way through to a large corporate and everything in between. So what happened to us happened to everyone. Uh, we're not immune by any stretch of the imagination, um, but we're starting to see some really good things happening mm. post. Okay, uh, when it all happened, how worried were you? We're a very consumer-centric business, so we're more worried about what's going to happen to our members than we were to ourselves. So that was the primary focus. So, Toby, what sort of technology and systems did you have in place to help you through this? Uh, we actually built our whole business around service and sales and marketing cloud from Salesforce. And how did that help you adapt? What's really been important for us is our, our, our vision is to support community, and support everyone that sits inside of our community. And the more we can know about our members, the better we are in order to be able to tailor a program, our services and space to suit them. Okay, so you use technology to know your customer better than ever before and to understand how they were coping with COVID so you could meet their needs. Most of our customer base are sort of large corporate and small to medium enterprises. Um, right. And a very, very small subset of that is actually the startup. You know, three to four percent of our total uh, customer base today is um, is the startup. So, um, understanding the the trends and the data and who that customer is 
in real time on the go from a dashboard is critically important for us to be able to mm. serve them. Yeah, you're proving information is power. Toby, always great to catch up. Good to see you. Koshi, thanks so much for your time. Toby Skovrod there from Creative Cubes. Uh, I love Toby. I interviewed him years ago. He's a serial entrepreneur and he had a product which was like a pet potty. And now he's gone on to bigger and better things. I love his entrepreneurial spirit. Hey, after the break, how cloud accounting is helping businesses navigate the new normal. But first, let's see what's on offer this week from one of the great small businesses from our Small Business First directory. Hello, I'm Corinne Noyes. I'm the founder of Madam Flavor Tea. We're still small, it's still very personal, and I'd love you to try uh, the brand and look forward to a chat sometime.